In this video, we will learn about banners. Let's say you need to add a new banner to your website, you can easily add it. Banners are basically used for advertisement purposes. Now, let's say you need to track the impressions also. If the user clicks on any banner and reads another website, you can track impressions also. You can also set it for a date, for example. So now we will see how we can reach the banner section. Here you can see click on components. Now click on banners. On clicking banners, here you can see no banner is visible. Now click on new here. New is used for adding a new banner. So now you can see we have reached the section here. Here you need to add a title, the type which would be an image. You can also add any custom section. Here you need to add an image with the width and height. You can add an alt text for SEO purpose. Click URL you can add and you can also add a description. On the left you can see some other options. You want to publish, yes. Want to add a specific category, you can add it. Pin, pin is basically like you can create a sticky purpose for it. Like let's say you are adding four banners. If you will pin it, it will be open, it will be visible on the top. Language all, if you want to change the language, you can change it. Right now keep it as default, which is all. Version node, if you want to add a revision history. We can go to the other settings, banner details, quite important setting. If you want to check the impressions, like go, let's say if you want to go for uh, 1000 impressions, you can add 1000. But if you can, if you don't want to stop it and go for unlimited impressions, you can click on unlimited. Total impressions, you can reset it from here. Total clicks, you can reset. Right now, you can see it is zero only because we haven't added it. Client, if you want to add it, right now we are not having, we will just link it. Purchase type, if you want to add it for yearly purpose or monthly, let's add it for a monthly purpose. Want to track impressions, yes, we want to track impressions. Want to track click also, which is good, you can add, you can click on yes. Here you can see the last setting is publishing. Here if you want for a particular date, you can add it from start and finish calendar. Here you can see start and finish calendar. Created date, it will get created by default. If you want to add a new user by created by, you can add it. You can also add a modified date, revision history, as well as a database entry with ID. So now on the left, you can see some other options. Meta keywords, quite important, you can add it. If you want to use your own prefix for meta keyword, you can easily add it by clicking yes. Here the meta keyword prefix will be added after the meta keywords. So here you can see, you can also add uh, alias to it. But if you won't add it, it will auto generate from title. So now you can see on the right, we need, we need to add the name. So we will add it. So here you can see I have added send 18, which is a product. So we, we want it for an advertisement. We will create an advertisement out of it. After adding, just click on save and close. Now we have clicked on save and close. Banner successfully saved. Now we will again click on it because we haven't added an image. So let's add an image to it. Here you can see the type is image, select an image from here. After selecting here you can see the section is visible. We want a new image, click on browse. On clicking browse here you can see we will select the following send 18 files logo. Here you can see after selecting click on open. After clicking open here you can see the option start upload is visible, click on start upload. Now you can see an insert option is visible. So first you need to select any that image. So we will select it. Here you can see send editing files is visible. Now you can see under images folder it is visible. Now after doing the changes, click on insert. On clicking insert, here you can see it is visible here. Images slash banners. Now we need to add the width and height as well as the alt text. And we will also add the click URL. So let's add it. So here you can see we have added the width and height. You can change it. Alternative text which is good for screen readers. You can easily add it and it is good for SEO also. Click URL, it will redirect to the link. You can add a description also. After doing the changes, click on save and close. After clicking save and close, you can see the same section is visible again. Banner successfully saved. Now to show this banner on the website, you need to add a new module. So go to a module, extension section, click on modules. Here you can see under modules, we need to click on new to add a new module, which is banner. Here you can see the banner module is visible. Banners, the banner module displays the active banners from the component. Click on banners. Here you can see the settings are available. The target, we want to open it in new window. Yes, count would be five. That means five number of banners we can add. We have only one right now. Client, you can set a client right now, but we have added a link to it and we are tracking impressions, so don't need it. Categories, you can go for all. Search by meta keyword, you can click on yes. 
randomize pinned if you remember we have pinned it so it the first one will come here you want to change the header text you want to add a footer text you can easily add it so now you can see we need to add a title here so let's add it so here you can see i have added a title my banner now you can check here on the left you can see some other settings like you want to show title no we don't want to show it position if you remember our default theme is protostar so we'll go to protostar and let's say we want to show it to left position i've added left position i want it to be published status is published if we want it for a specific date i can add the start and finish public date here access is public ordering you can check here if you want to see the ordering these are the section visible right now on the left side bar so now the language is all you can change it if you are adding more language in future keep it as all by default note if you want to add a note you can easily add it after doing all the changes here you can see click on save and close here you can see module has been successfully saved you can check it here my banner is visible here so now we will go to the website and refresh it and let's see what happens So now you can see we have refreshed the website and on the left side bar if you remember we added a banner it is written send files is visible here. So in the same way if you will click on it it will track the impressions as well as a click which is good for advertisement purposes and you can easily track the banner. So in this video we learned what is a banner how we can add a banner after adding a banner how we can make it visible on the website by adding a module known as banner. Thank you for watching.